First of all, please download the Excel file from the website below this video. We can use the menu to set the working directory, or we can use the status command cd to set the current working directory. Then we can import the Excel file to Stata. An easy way to do that is to use the menu. We click the Import and choose the Excel file and open it. Here we click Import first row as variable names. Or you can use the Stata command import Excel followed by the Excel's name and use the option first row. Then we can type browse to take a look at the data. Or you could just click on the data browser icon. The command count shows us the number of observations which can also be seen in the data browser. If we want to know the number of observation during a certain year, we can use the if expression. The stata command tabulate followed by the variable year gives us the number of observations for each year. The stata command summarize followed by the variable minimum wage can give us the statistics of minimum wage, such as the number of observations, the mean, standard deviation, minimum, and maximum number. We can also use the option detail to obtain more information, such as the median or the 75 percentile as well as the variance, skewness, and kurtosis. We can also use the if expression to get the information for a certain year. or a certain month. Or a certain month in a certain year. Or for a certain state. Or a combination of state and year. To find the average minimum wage for each year, there are at least two methods. The first one is to use the command tabulate followed by year and use the option summarize followed by the variable minimum wage inside the parenthesis. Then we can get a table of the mean of the minimum wage for each year. Another commonly used method is to use the command tabstat followed by the variable minimum wage and use the option statistics. Inside the parenthesis, we write down which statistics we choose. Here I choose number of observations, mean and median and the option by followed by year inside the parenthesis. Then we obtain a table of the statistics we choose for each year. Next, we generate a new variable that combine year and month together.
and use the command list to take a look at the first 15 observations. Another more commonly used method to combine year and month together is to use the stator operator YM. Inside the parentheses, write down year, comma, month, and then set its format. Then the year month variable has the calendar month format. We can also use the command tab stat to take a look at the maximum number of the minimum wage for each month during a certain period of time. Next, Let's create a categorical variable to identify observations where the minimum wage is greater than $7. And use the command tabulate to find the number of observations and the percentage that belongs to each category. We can also draw a histogram using the command histogram followed by the variable. You can also add the number of observations on top of each bar by using the option Add Labels and frequency. You can change the fill color and the outline color and give a title to the graph. Finally, we use the collapse command to create a new dataset, which contains only two variables. The first variable is the minimum, average minimum wage for each month, and the other variable is the month variable. We type collapse first. Inside the parentheses, we specify which statistics we want. Here is the mean. And then we type the new variable's name. After the equal sign, we type the old variable from which we calculate the mean. And then we use the option by followed by the time variable. And we can plot the average minimum wage against time by using the stator graph command scatter.